All right, about to get the grill set up. It is Sunday, Memorial Day weekend. And if you can see, it's raining. It's one thing I hate doing is grilling in the rain. Would much rather it be a sunny 80 degree day here, but it's not. But I'm going to make the best of it. Going to get the grill outside now. Stay tuned. All right, got it out. Got it partially protected. At least I'll be able to stay dry while I'm out there checking on the, uh, the ribs and the brisket. And uh, today I think we're gonna do a little bit of corn on the cob. Just take my fresh corn on the cob, get it out of the uh, shuck and clean it off. Wrap it in some aluminum foil with a couple of pats of butter. I let that stay on there for about 25, maybe 30 minutes. Um, I usually do it on my other uh, offset, smaller, heats up faster, real thin metal, um, and the temperature gets up there at about 300, 350, and it usually takes about 25 minutes for my corn to cook. Um, first time doing it on the offset, obviously this is my first cook on the reverse flow offset, so we're going to see how it goes. Um, getting my charcoal sparked up now, so that, uh, Hopefully within the next uh, 15 minutes, I can start throwing some wood inside the firebox and hopefully maybe in an hour, hopefully less, I can uh, start um, getting this up to temperature and, and um, begin the process of getting dinner for today on it, which is obviously is not the it's not the brisket, it's not the ribs either. Um, that's all gonna be for tomorrow, for Memorial Day. But I'm gonna get our dinner for today. My wife likes salmon, so I'm gonna do some salmon on there and uh, the corn on the cob. And uh, I think that's all I'm cooking on the smoker today for dinner. But for tomorrow, I'm gonna be putting that brisket and the ribs on. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, it's uh, time for me to start kind of trying to trim up my brisket. I'm just gonna show you what I got here. I got a whole brisket. Looks like it was about nine and a quarter, a little over nine and a quarter pounds. It was $9.69 a pound for a total of $89. Bringhurst Meats, if you're interested, it's in uh, down near Atco, New Jersey. Pretty good butchery. So let's take a look and see what we got. Uh, plan of the day is just to season it with a little bit of kosher salt and some ground black pepper. I did already pre-mix that in about a 50-50 ratio. Not that I know what I'm doing, it's just what I've been seeing on the internet. So Aaron Franklin, you ain't got nothing to worry about here. Again, uh, this is my first brisket, so don't look to me for advice on trimming. I've only watched a few YouTube videos as you're probably doing right now. So I know very little to nothing about trimming a brisket. Only what I've seen on, on YouTube. By the way, what did we do before YouTube? Yes, we just didn't know what we were doing. All right, so supposedly this is a whole brisket. Eight to 10 pounds is what I ordered. This one was closer to nine and a quarter, a little over. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm looking at here, but I do see a lot of fat on this fat cap that I'm gonna just trim down a little bit. I'm not going to totally take it all off, but trim it down a little bit. And honestly, to me, I, I don't know if this is a whole brisket or not, but hey, it's what they sold me. Uh, I'm honestly unfamiliar with this. I'm, I'm 
don't know where the flat and the point would be. I'm assuming the flat was here. It looks as though that was a nice cut off there. And I'm guessing this would be more of the point. I don't know. But hey, so we're just going to take the knife to it and, and uh, see how it goes. Just taking a little bit of this fat off the bottom here. I know you're not supposed to cut towards you, but hey, I'm not a professional. My goal in, uh, in cooking this brisket is just to learn, obviously. I've never done it, and I've been obsessively watching YouTube videos on brisket, and my, my mouth, quite frankly, has been watering and tasting uh, a brisket this Memorial Day weekend is something I plan on doing. That's why we haven't bought one. We're gonna see how it goes here. Like I said, I'm, I'm far from an expert at briskets. Sir. This is in fact my first one. And honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing. But hey, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna cook it and if it comes out good, so be it. If it doesn't come out good, then it's a learning process. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Just learn. I mean, I hate to make a $90 mistake, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. I do know that I need to leave some fat on there to protect the uh, supposedly the point in, and, and you know that's my plan. But we are going to try to get some of this thicker stuff cut down a little bit, trimmed down a little bit, just so it. Uh, I know it's not going to render that that big thick piece there. So we're going to try to trim it down as best we can to about a quarter of an inch is what I've seen on a lot of videos. That's what we're doing. So we'll be back when I get her all trimmed up and I'll give you a look. All right, just started adding some wood to my firebox here. Going to get a nice little coal bed going and then uh, add a little bit bigger splits. Try to get the temperature up and um, I'll take you back in when I season that brisket and um, start getting some, some food on the grill. It is Memorial Day weekend and I don't gotta work tomorrow, so it's time to crack a cold one. Stay tuned. All right, I've closed the uh, firebox door. Um, it's only open maybe a inch, not much. Take a look at that 
smokestack there. I don't even know if you could see it. Kind of see the uh, heat. And maybe a little thin, wispy blue smoke. Big Phil's Smokers and Metal Works. Putting in some work here. Memorial Day weekend. Brisket's coming out next. All right, about to throw this filet. This is uh, coho salmon, wild caught. Um, my wife's not happy unless she throws everything in the seasoning cabinet on it. So there it is. She does the seasoning on her fish, not me. And as you can see here, we got the skin. We have a few feral cats that uh, kind of take care of the mole and bowl population in my yard. So we like to keep them happy. So I'm going to throw this on the smoker. Uh, like I said, uh, I usually do things on my smaller, thinner, older uh, smoker and um, works pretty good. Let's see how it goes with the bigger one. Stay tuned. Got the brisket coming up. All right, I'm back. And in case I haven't mentioned it before, this is my first brisket. So easy on the comments. I don't exactly know what I'm doing other than what I've watched on YouTube videos. And um, I want to just experiment and see what I'm doing. And then, you know, for the next brisket, probably going to get a Costco membership because now that I think about it, the $90 for this, and it doesn't even look like what I've seen on YouTube videos as a flat and a point. Um, I guess if I had gotten the whole brisket, maybe the 14 pound, 15 pound, perhaps I would have uh, had the other half of this, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going to do what I can to uh, make the best of this situation on this rainy day. Like I said, I'm just seasoning it with some kosher salt and some coarse ground black pepper. And I've got that mixed into this container. Um, this container obviously says Cajun seasoning on it, to those. Get that down in, uh, whenever I visit my in-laws down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's an excellent uh, seasoning, but not going on my brisket. I'm just going to try to make it as, as simple as possible. Simple as possible. So, just a little shake. All around. Coat it pretty evenly. I'm going to get a nice bark on it that everybody speaks of with their briskets. Side here. I don't know if you can see it, but my kids are actually in, in the kitchen here with me. What you making? I'm making a brisket. What's a brisket? Well, it's a piece of meat that comes from a cow. And, uh, you gonna try it? How much salt do you put on there? Like a thousand pounds? No, not quite a thousand pounds. You gonna try it when we uh when it's ready to mark? Yeah. Alright. Hi guys, my name is Mrs. Hill. And I live here. is too much or how much is enough but that seems pretty salt and peppery to me so we're gonna we're gonna stop it right there now I, I am cooking today with oak I've got oak as my main wood and uh, my wife likes her uh, salmon cooked with 
apple. So that's what we're doing today. A little bit of oak and some apple. I um, got a nice supply of uh, apple wood out there and and uh, I really like that with when I do my pork loin, boneless pork loin roast. And right there. Alright, I think she's ready. I am going to get her out there on the smoker. I'm going to pause you and get another glove and get her out there. Alright, I just put the brisket on. It's about 5.30. Take a look. Got it placed in the center. My fat cap is down. I got the fatter in with a little bit of the, uh, I don't know if that's the deckle or whatever it is, but there was a big chunk of fat over there so I got it on uh, since it's a reverse flow and the heat's flowing traveling that way towards the smokestack I got it over there got my corn on the cob it should be ready and my wife's salmon smoking that away so we're gonna let this uh, sit in here for the next I don't know till it's done had the lid open a little while so we're getting climbing back up to temperature you can see those tell trues 150 on the right 150 on the left working our way back up got my on deck wood like i said it's raining here and i forgot to cover my wood i did take some and uh stick it in the garage before the rain on friday but i didn't put enough so i got my on deck wood here Kind of drying out on the firebox. We're going to taste some barbecue on Monday. Memorial Day Monday. Paying my respects to uh, those that wore a uniform and didn't make it home. Um, happy Memorial Day to the families of those. Those uh, soldiers that fought so that I can enjoy what I'm doing today. We'll check back in a little bit.